really? I'm slowly, rapidly, becoming more unhappy with this fight. The hit stun is so heavy on everything he does. It's a little excessive. And also, why doesn't my moon hit him? Like, what is possibly getting in the way? It's not like it's hitting anything, right? Literally ignoring it. He literally just goes right through it. Why? I, I can't roll out of that. As soon as it hits, the hit stun is so long, I can't move. And why does my homing moon attack not home in and hit the dude and float through the boar? Why does the boar not have a hitbox? That's bugged. That is 100% bugged, because it should not be going through the goddamned hitbox. There is an enemy there. I can hit him. Why does the moon not hit him? I was wondering why it didn't seem like I was doing damage, because I wasn't. Nope. That took a half my health. Could you give me a second? Like, I roll... I guess I'm rolling backwards, which is the problem because I'm still in range there. But like, I roll backwards, and before I can recover, the sword is coming down on my head. Like, where, where do I go then? Backwards apparently is not the way, but I don't know if forward is the right way either because I get stuck in the rest of the mall. Like, I just, I'm not reading how to deal with that attack, and it's pissing me off. Because that's the big move. I haven't gotten to second phase in a while now. Didn't block it. Shoulder check. What? Get that knockdown. This probably take him to half? Not yet. But I gotta heal. Set up. Oh, I. That ate my entire health bar and hit me twice. Why does it have two hitboxes? Didn't, didn't block it. Didn't do anything. Oh, God, that uppercut. There we go. Just go, just go, just go. Did the moon hit? I don't know. What? Where's my guard? My guard was up. I saw it go up. Oh 
Come on! I didn't even have time to bring up more glint blades. I think the moon hit that time because he was frozen. Actually, I can't even tell he's debuffed. I hope that lands because he's stationary. But like that's the only time I can use that. Ah. I honestly don't know if the uh, stamina buff is actually helping. Placebo says it is, but I feel like it's not. Oh, there goes my stamina, but I blocked it. What? I'm blocking, hello? I tried to block it and I screwed up. Shoulder check. Couldn't get the sh shield up in time. The other problem is just the egregious amount of damage he's doing. Like, I can take basically three hits. Which, yeah, that goes for most enemies, most bosses. But with how much he does, it's just... It's too much, man. I'm gonna stay here until I beat him, though. I could be exploring, or I could take out this boss and... You know. I don't know, pride and accomplishment? I don't know. Like, what do I do? I can't get out of range, I can't do anything about it. I would like to get a guard counter off. Nope. Ah, come on, the animation lock. I was holding down guard. Why did that not guard? I don't understand what's happening. Because I'm literally hold. I'm not even tapping it at that point. I was holding it. So why didn't the guard guard? It's a physical attack. There's a 100% physical reduction shield. Why did I take damage? It's not how that's supposed to work. I feel like I'm being lied to. And I don't like being lied to. Shoulder check. Oh, got one of those. Not the head. Come on. Not the head. Oh, broke my guard. I was dodging. Come on, I dodged to the side and he still swept all the way around. You see that? I dodged to the right, and he still tracked so hard that he spun me around to in front of his blade. Where do I go with that dodge? I dodge back, not good enough. I dodge to the right, not good enough? I'm on the opposite side of the stupid pig. Like, how does it manage to shove me exactly into position from the opposite side? 
I feel like I should be able to stay on one side of the pig and be safe until he actually brings his weapon to the other side. Didn't dodge that. There's the knockdown, the drink. Oh, really? There's not enough time for that? Head. Thrust. Oh, come on. Can you not push me against the wall? I couldn't see what was happening because I was shoved against the wall. Also, you popped phase two at like 60%. Could you, could you pop it at, like, 50 instead? So that way I feel like I make more progress? Be real kind of you. The crazy thing is I also walked out, like, forward. To not be against the wall. And I was still shoved against the wall of the castle, despite the entire open field. All right, see that attack should hit me. I don't know how to dodge that last bit. Shoulder check. Someone dodge that. Take it. Don't know how to dodge that move. I keep dodging backwards though, because it's like the only thing I know. I gotta try for doing forward is the problem. But as soon as I see it coming, I'm like, I need to get out of there. But the problem is he has so much reach that I, I'm not getting out of there. Like normally by this point, I feel like I'd be starting to understand the move set. I don't understand this moveset, and I'm trying to, like, block and parry and all that, and I'm, like, still making the same mistake somehow. Oh, where was my guard? Wow, just slammed that on my head. Wow. Once again, I held the guard button, but apparently the game doesn't care. I wish I knew what was guardable and what wasn't then, if that was the case. Which is funny, because sometimes I guard that move, so I know even less. I know I had stamina. I know I did. Also, extra stamina is not doing anything right now. Am I put Alexander's Talisman back on? I don't know. I didn't. Limp Blade. Already? I still don't know how to deal with that. Because I'm like stuck against him the whole time. Shoulder check. Locked it, but it was magical damage. Oh, why does that have two hitboxes? Because I'm getting trampled is what it is. Don't know why I spent that. Please go down. Alright, we're halfway though.
Oh, really? I didn't think so. I got stuck in the trees. I also don't know if my moon actually fired, so the moon is still useless. Well, I know it fired. I don't know if it hit. I'm too busy trying to figure out what's going on to see if the attacks actually land. Because there's just too much going on. Like, the moon's firing. He's leaping. The spines are still breaking. Like, too much, too much. But I'm getting better at popping my glint blades when I have the chance. All right, never mind. Don't know why I did that. I don't know the right way to dodge that. It's not intuitive. Oh, I didn't actually... Didn't dodge that, really? I'm rolling. I was not in an active state. How can you hit me? I feel like I'm getting worse. I don't know why I threw a dart at that point. I mishit something. I just don't know what I was trying to do in the first place. Let me swap tiers, because I don't think stamina is helping. Uh, I'll put magic back on there. Oh, wait, this is... Have mercy for the spirited away shamans. Gesturing required ahead. Likely love. Gesture? Do I have a gesture? Uh, which one do I want to swap out? Uh, I have that. What is this? My lord, oh mother. Oh, I did get this. I wonder. I picked this up from that corpse lady. Ha ha! That is mother. Wow, that is a long gesture. I cannot move out of it. Alright, well, okay, that exists out there. Ah, that's how you get to this side. But there's a dude that needs blasting. So, we're gonna do that. Until it is done. So, let us go. I didn't swap talismans like I thought to. I forgot because I got distracted by the door. All right, Gaius. I don't know if that's the proper timing or not, because I don't have, like, stamina. All right, never mind. Go down. I should block that. He didn't do the thrust. Oh, that's why. Just go. I didn't block it. I didn't dodge it. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I didn't see the rocks. Dodge that somehow. Oh, come on. I hate that move so much. Like, I don't... 
I keep dodging backwards, and I know that's a problem, but I also don't know where to go otherwise, so I default to backwards. Because if I try and dodge the boar, then the sword comes out of my head. If I don't dodge the boar, the sword still comes out of my head. Like, I don't know how to properly deal with that move. Do I just run? Do I just book it? If I see him start to rear up, do I just, like, not deal with it? Yeah, see? I dodged the boar tusk, but still couldn't get out of the way of the last hit. It's like, what do I do? And I realized he was doing the attack too late, so I couldn't actually run. I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't know how to outrange that. Because I know it's going to track me super hard anyway, so I can't, like, preemptively dodge to the side. Maybe I should try. I don't know. I don't know. I hate it. I hate it a lot. There it is. I did it! Why are you not down? There we go. Please freeze. Didn't freeze. Jumped into it for some reason. Thought I'd be cool. It wasn't. Shoulder charge. Time to go. Didn't get out of it. It did hit, though. I didn't block it. <laughs> so dodging left seems to work. Now I just need to remember to actually do that. And do it properly. Or at least dodge and then block the last hit if I can. Alright, the moon is not where it's at. I gotta stop doing that, because it's... I can't properly space it. I can't properly time it. The moon is not my job. Sorry, Ronnie. But I don't think that's happening this time around. broke through my guard anyway. Oh, I didn't know you had that move. I don't think he's ever done that spin move. Usually it's just the kick, but I guess if I survive and stay behind him, he'll spin. I'm still not exactly enjoying the fight, which is slightly a problem, because if I am enjoying it, I would probably be learning it better, but I don't know. I'm just not finding the fun in this fight. He's sort of just annoying. He's very wild. I guess it is a boar. But like... His timing and hitboxes and that. The fact that I get double hit. Sometimes I get hit by that. Sometimes I don't. And it's a problem. Like, he sweeps so wide. Dodging to the side just doesn't work. Do I have to like dodge left, right, left or something? I don't... I don't see the move enough, or I don't survive the move enough to figure out what to do with it. And like, I'm in its face, so I can't see the telegraphs that easily. Like, which directions do I dodge, and how many times? It's so difficult to get a read on it. And because I die basically immediately when I see it, I have no chance to learn it. 
And that's one of the bigger problems with this is I can't learn things when I die so quickly. And I believe I've mentioned this before, way back when, with the uh, stupid, what's it called? Lion Dancer. Shoulder check. I can't. Like, the recovery from the roll is too much unless I'm fast rolling. I didn't block it, apparently. Oh, you didn't shoulder check me. Now you're gonna shoulder check me. Out of stamina, getting comboed. Like, trying to block that at all. For the record, I thought I was supposed to get reduced stamina drain when I guard properly. I'm hearing, I think, the guard timing. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. It, it's hard to hear during everything. But I feel like my stamina is getting drained super hard regardless of deflecting tier or not. But I thought it was supposed to minimize, like, stamina reduction so I can keep, you know, comboing my guard. But I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm timing this, but it eats half my stamina bar, so I don't know. You missed. I missed. I missed. What? Never mind. Okay. I don't know how to deal with that because he swings twice with each one. So if I roll, I'm getting hit by the second move. If I block, I'm getting blown open. I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know how to dodge, I don't know how to block it. Not to mention, again, of the 8-hit combo, it only takes 3 to put me down, so I can't exactly time the rest of it anyway. I'm sorry, I rolled? Like, what do I do? I dodge, and then I get hit, 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 because once I get hit, there's nothing else I can do. It's that one move. Everything else is troublesome, but I screw up and I deal with it. But that one move, I've been unable to read, and I don't know why. It's so annoying. And he always does it from point blank, so it's not like I can get out of there. So I need to figure out how to dodge it, but I can't intuit that. I don't know how that missed me, but I'll take it. Shoulder check. Aha! Swords, go! Okizeme! Get out of there! That hitbox lasts forever and a half! Managed to dodge under him, that's really funny. Somehow guarded, somehow got blown open anyway.
dodge that somehow. We're good. Uh-oh. I don't know how to deal with that move, especially when there are now other moves hitting me in the middle of that move. I don't... I don't suppose I have Torrent for this fight. I've never actually noticed. So that might change things. I have access to Torrent in this fight. Oh my god. That changes so many things, actually. I just gotta remember to do it. I rolled, though? Like I was in mid-roll animation? Nope. I blocked it, I didn't parry it. Didn't block it. I take like full damage when my guard gets broken. Yep. There we go. Shoulder check. Can't roll fast enough. Didn't get my guard up for some reason. Nope, that was a poor choice. My swords are also not firing at him for some reason. Didn't block it for some reason. Awesome. Didn't block for some reason. Really? Two? Oh, that hit me. Just go. Just, are you kidding me? I'm on Torrent trying to sprint and he's catching up to me. What is your ridiculous range? Like, come on. Let me out. Why does that have infinite goddamned range to just catch me no matter what I'm doing? Leave me alone, goddamn! That's almost as bad as Waterfowl in terms of just- I screwed up because I'm complaining. Ow. Shoulder check. Oh, he turned. All right, that's fine too.
I don't know how I didn't dodge that. I don't know why I'm not allowed to block that. Shoulder check. Oh, he did it real close though. Oh, come on. What is your recovery, dude? You shoot out a spell and then you're like, but I can still charge you. Didn't block it, damn it. I prefer that one, please. There we go, I knew that was gonna go down that one. I didn't block for some reason. I don't know why I didn't think to. So you can dodge the first one backwards. I don't know about the second one. Do I have to dodge into every move? I don't know. I don't know. You clearly have to dodge in different directions, and I don't know which directions to go because... Of the four, I'm always guessing wrong. And in the moment, I'm going to make the wrong decision because I don't know what I'm doing. And again, it's the one move. If he didn't have that move, I'd probably A, be having more fun, B, progressing better. It's the one move. I'm trying to block, like, I counter. Get in there. Not quite. I tried to dodge and it just didn't happen that time. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. I'd like a moment to heal. That'd be great. This'll be it. I dodged it, though! I don't know what to do about that. Because I can dodge the lance, but I can't dodge the tusk. But sometimes I can dodge the tusk, but not the lance, and I just... What direction do I go? Because I can't go with the attack, so I'm going to roll into the hitbox. It's the one move. It is the one move that I just cannot read. And again, I don't see it often enough to recognize its startup. I just know when it's happening. Oh, I wasn't close enough, and I got hit. I was getting up. He charged me when I was getting up. Can never do it. I'm dead. Well, not dead, but I'm taking that hit. What is your hitbox, dude? You see what's happening there, though? I dodged the side. And he's tracking me through my roll, so his hitbox is still overlaid when my roll ends. He is tracking me mid-charge. He is turning mid-charge when I roll to the side, because I could not get out of the hitbox. Like, I feel like the worst part is I can't really see if it's a bad boss or not. It's just really frustrating because of minute things and the one stupid move. Nope. He turned that time the wrong way. That was a move. Doesn't do that one often. Swords? Hello? 
Now, come on, dodge, man. I was getting up. Also that. Like, sometimes I get knocked down, and he will hit me while I'm getting up. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. I was stuck in it. I was stuck in it, and I couldn't do anything about it. What if I have 39 darts? Do I not have enough? Hang on, now that I'm noticing that, I might need to remedy that just real quick. Wait, do I have less than 39 darts in storage? Super do. Hang on, let me just not have that be. Or my darts. What do darts fall under? There they are. There we go. And again, try and parse the one move that I just can't. I don't know how I dodged the last shot the one time. Oh, really? I was holding block, though, and you didn't do your third hit. Ow. Shoulder check. I'm real close. Bash. I tried to roll, but I was stuck in the animation. I'm getting up. I am drinking. I'm getting up. I literally can't do anything. I get knocked down by that move, and he's like, I still have frames. Like, it feels like he's cheating. Oh, now he's going to charge, of course. Shoulder charge. Like, I do my attack and he's like, by the way, super. I had no way to prep for that because by the time I was in there, I'm still stuck in the animation. Like, it's, it's over. Something that I've noticed, by the way, especially with the DLC, um, the player is still too slow. Ever since the original Dark Souls, the player is still faster. But they've definitely amped up enemy move speeds, and I'm still stuck with my end lag. And it's not good. I can't do spells because of how long they take to cast. Enemies are just too fast now. Like, 90% of my kit is worthless because there's no time. I can dodge some of it and then block the rest of it. Not that. Really? Two at point blank? Good. No frost proc. Why did the swords go through? Why do they not hit the giant pig body? Oh, you didn't shoulder check me. What are you doing? Swords, could you hit him?
Oh, I was guarding though. All right, he didn't hit me. Oh, come on, swords. Like, he passed by forever ago. I didn't. Whatever that is, get away from it. Go down. Yes. Finally. Oh, you were remembering. Yeah, I know. Considering how difficult you are, you better be a remembrance boss. There were three Remembrance bosses in this area. There was Mesmer, there was Shadow Tree Avatar, and there was Gaius. That's crazy. Three right here. And Gaius was the worst. Sit down, please. Oh my god. I have opened up so much now. He didn't even give me enough to level up. I still need 1,500. Actually, I need 16 plus 1,700, really. Let me fix that real quick. Ah, uh, perfect. Didn't enjoy that fight. Really, really didn't. I still don't know how to dodge that one move. Why can't I count? 2,500 is what I needed. Because I was at 23, and it's 25. So I need 10k more. That should be enough. I'll have like a thousand left over. Well, there we go. Um, I need three. I don't have enough. I probably only have like one or two. Okay. Let's see. Commander Gaius. Both were as elder brothers to the lion, and both were cursed from birth. In spite of, or perhaps because of this very reason, Gaius was both Mesmer's friend and the leader of his men. Interesting. Both were as elder brothers to the lion. Mesmer and uh, Gaius were as elder brothers to um, Radon, the lion, and both were cursed from birth, in spite of or perhaps because of this reason. So because both of both Gaius and Mesmer were cursed, they became friends as brothers of Radon, and so he became commander. Cool. Glad you're dead. That sounds really mean, but I mean, after what he just put me through, yeah. Yeah. What's passed up here? I mean, it's not... There's not much going on. Offer message? No. Precious item. Message. I mean, the items ahead... Our night talisman ahead. That's different. Uh, is it just through the path, or is there anything on the sides here? There's a very bright doorway. Anything out here? I'm. Wow. Okay. Sound. Uh, I'm gonna need to see how people beat Gaius, because I don't know how I beat Gaius. I mean, I kind of did. I started trying to guard and block, uh, guard and dodge, rather, uh, that one assault move. And I started to get the hang of it, and I got the hang of it enough to not die to it. 
That's uh, that's the, really the big thing, is not dying to it. Because as I said, that was the one move where if it didn't exist, I would have a much more uh, productive time fighting him. And of course, in the round where I actually started to block it and not immediately die to it, uh, yeah, that's the one I win. So, like I said... Yeah, I'm just not a fan of that. Like, between that and water Waterfowl being... I win, you lose, sucker. Is that the Lord Vessel? Pickle. Shadow Tree Chalice. It is the Lord Vessel. There's five here, and my sound is bugging out. Something incredible. Bragment? Bragment? Are you kidding me? There's just five fragments here? I can level up twice now. Ah, it's crazy. That said, I'm not entirely sure I should. Because while Gaius is absolutely knocking my teeth in, uh, I feel like damage-wise and stuff, like, Gaius's problem wasn't quite the damage. The damage was bad, of course. But the problem was the move. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, too strong is the thing. So I might actually hold off on those two levels, because I'm 12 right now. And I don't know if that's going to be too high for, like, you know, everything else down here, considering that's accessible early on. Although I guess Gaius is also accessible early on. You can reach Mesmer, Gaius, and Shadow Tree Avatar without fighting anything else. As well as Hippo. All of these, all five of these, five? Uh, Beast, Rolana, Mesmer, Gaius, and uh, Shadow Tree all have the potential to be the first boss you could get to. Granted, I doubt these three are going to be anyone's first boss intentionally, because you'd have to get to Fort of Reprimand and be like, I'm not doing any of the big things over here. I'm ignoring all of that. So, you know, that's probably not going to be anyone's first naturally, but it is possible. Which, you know, makes subsequent runs interesting. Because you really have your choice of boss. That said, Gaius is clearly meant to be a later boss compared to the first two, considering I fought the Dancing Lion. I didn't see that shack there. That's probably where that talisman is that someone mentioned. Uh, Dancing Lion was... It's an Albanoric on a direwolf. They're not happy. Were you friends with uh, Gaius? Because I didn't like him very much. Also, you interrupted my uh, thought process. She actually hit me that time. What if I said stop? What are you doing? You missed. Oh, you dropped a gold item? Gaius is Greaves and an Albanoric blood clot. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying beforehand, but, uh, do you know Gaius? Black Iron Greaves made for Commander Gaius, a cruel joke, for he could not wear them. Riding atop the board he called his other half, Gaius was in fact a warrior of Albanoric extraction? Oh, that's why he was a boar rider. And why he can't wear shoes. That's, wait a minute, but, so, from the lore that I understand, um, I think it was first gen, or was it second gen Albanorics? I think first gen Albanorics were like her, but they were all women and they didn't have functional legs. Second gen Albanorics are the silver frogs, but you know, they're clearly not, you know, human like. But are you telling me he's a male second gen Albanoric? Sharpshot Talisman. The Albanoric archers were in a class of their own. 
and their deadly long-range specialist struck fear into the hearts of men. Yeah. Uh, boost attack power of precision aim shots. Okay, cool. So, sniping talisman. I feel like that's still not going to get a lot of use, but I'm happy it exists. I'm still processing Gaius the Albinoric. That's his curse, huh? He is unable to walk normally. Oh, I thought that was a person. That was a goat facing directly head on. I was really confused. I'm like, what's this person doing here? I just still don't feel bad for him. He had a huge pig that would uh, decimate me, so clearly it wasn't all bad. Guys, was that your wife? Albanark Shack is a. Uh, is that where you live? Did I kill you and your wife? Well, that's what you get for killing me. I just showed up here. I mean, I did kill Mesmer. But. And there's really no reason for me to justify myself to you. This whole thing is just his arena, huh? Let me warp back over there, and I guess I can head into this next part. I opened the doorway. Yeah, I didn't even see that last when I first came in. And there's a hint telling me, have mercy for spirit away shamans. I mean, it looks pretty. There are the stairs. I'm not getting a uh, zone title drop yet. Maybe when I step out onto the grass. Oh, there's a grace. Grace grass. No, not yet. You're not going to tell me? Is that who I think it is? Hang on. Hang on. Not that. I wanted to swap that. I never use this thing. Tree Sentinel? What you doing, bud? It's been a while since I've seen one of you. It's funny, unlike most people, I don't really treat Tree Sentinel as my, uh... As Tree Sentinel Sensei, you know? Because I didn't really learn from him. I definitely learned more from Crucible Knight and Margit. Which is why I use the Crucible Knight Gauntlets and more Gauts Rune. But nothing from the Tree Sentinel. Also, because they're faith-based. I don't... I mean, I'm leveling up faith now. But... Yeah, I'm going... To go level up... My, uh... Seals here. See if I can. I take that off, but I probably want to keep it on later, just because... I'm using shield. I also gotta check if leveling up the shield gives me better guard boost. Because if it does, then I absolutely need to uh, improve my guard boost. But hey, Hugh, can you make this better for me? Oh, it takes somber. Excellent. That's much easier to deal with. I might as well take this to 10. All right, and what is its address now? 306 is not bad, considering I really don't have as many points in faith. Uh, my talismans are all over the place. This is bad. This is a garbage setup, to be honest. <laughs> These are... I don't know why I didn't shuffle this more. I forgot to. This would have been helpful. Uh, I don't really need Great Jar, because I put the shield away. Um, man, I don't know what to do with my build. I don't know what to put on anymore. Ritual shield would have been nice for the initial hits. I could run that. Let me put this back on. It only gives me so much health, stamina. What else does it give? An equip load. The equip load is probably the most important part, to be honest, so I'll reap the benefits of everything else as well. What a weird setup I have. Alright, but yeah, let me 
try out some other spells. Let's see. Uh, memorize spells. I haven't been using Carrion Slicer, which does hurt me because I do love Carrion Slicer. Adula's Moonblade also would be nice. But again, there's just no time. And I gotta really get those knockdowns. Karen Piercer, also very useful. Provided I'm not using like a strong weapon to knock enemies down. But even then, it's good against the Fire Knights. I just need to actually use it. Uh, or I swapped my Katana, which staggers them anyway. Mastery is always good for sniping. Haima for just grenading dudes. Probably swap Roiling Magma for an actual incantation. What can I not use is the question. Still can't use Black Blade because that needs 45, 46 faith. I can use Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. That's nutty, actually. Because that's super good against, like, large enemies. I could take down that dragon. And, like, a whole bunch of other dudes. Let me just slap that there. Um, what else can I use here? Uh, I can't use Giant's Flame, but I can use Flame Slaying. I could use Catch Flame, which honestly serves the same purpose as Karen Slicer. It's just fire. I could use Black Flame, provided I have the time to cast. That's a thought. Uh, I don't have the Arcane for any of the Dragon spells. I need at least 15 to be able to use all of them. Uh, where's the Mesmer Fire one that I picked up? I scrolled past it tonight. Yeah, here we go. I'm definitely not using Mesmer's Orb, but I can use Fire Serpent. And I kind of want to give that a shot. And then I'll put... The moon is still good when I can use it. The problem is finding the time I can use it. Let me give it a shot. Sound, why are you bugging out? So I can cast it regular. I don't know where it's going. I can charge it, make a bigger one. I don't know where it's going. Where is it going? I'm so confused at where it wants to go. Who's it targeting? Anyway, yeah, that's really good because it's homing. That's actually a really cool fire spell. It's been a while since I've used fire spells proper that weren't magma sorceries. Because, you know, last time I used Pyromancy, that was in DS1, and that didn't require any stats. Anyway. Uh... Hinterland is where it is. So I can go to the Hinterland and check out this entire upper area. I can... Attempt to kill the dragon that's out here, which I think is going to be my next course of action. And then when I take care of that dragon, I think I'll try and go in this path here and try and get to whatever's down here so I'm gonna wait over here and then this dragon will go down next time and I'll continue my exploration everywhere else I'll deal with the hinterland later because there's a lot up there and there's these fingers all over the place and I super don't want to deal with that but and a lightning strike everything. He's storming around out there. But hey, I have vaguely decent incantation scaling because of my instat, and I am okay with that. So we'll see how that goes next time.